there is a deep drive in all human beings towards what we call truth, reality, eternity, God, or any other name you give it. And the recipient or the participant is called, he is self-realized or awakened or enlightened, all kinds of other words. Now, there is a deep notion in all of us that there is a, a cosmic truth which is ever constant. That's why we also like to have an ever constant reference. Where is my mother? My mother never dies, you know. Then we make her mother in heavens or whatever. We want to have a connection with an entity that is ever perfect, ever constant, always there, giving, irrespective. Now, the truth of it is that our soul is that. This, that which gives you life which is your spirit, whatever you call it, within your own heart, is that. It's giving, 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 because it's perfect, and it has no need for anything. So it's beyond all the human limitations, which we all the time try to transcend and go beyond. So even these limitations are part of our growing up in life within our limited consciousness and within the world of dualities. Everything we experience as human beings is one of two, emanating from the one, sustained by the one, returning to the one. So if you like, there is one major challenge to human beings at every level of their mind, reason, intellect, and meditation is that. The two from the one returning to the one, and there is only one in truth, but appears as two. So if you like that, amazing treasure of treasures of cosmic oneness is camouflaged or is veiled by what appears as two. So you need to go beyond the two. The good now can become bad tomorrow and vice versa. They can interchange, they can they coexist. They are actually complementary. They're not fighting opposites. There can be no good in the realm of duality unless there is a seed of badness in it and vice versa. So we need to be aware of that. What you desire as a three-year-old is ridiculous as a 30-year-old, and so on and so on. So according to space and time, all of these values change. That's why if you want to have a touch of the perfect unity or the origin and the source of all existences, you need to put aside your normal, healthy, judgmental state. You need to stop that. No use telling people, stop judging. No, judge, but put the judgment down now. Now you begin to maybe see things that are beyond you. What you consider to be your poison now can be even a remedy. And, and on and on and on. Until you realize that as human, you live in the world of duality. You are in constant challenge to balance it. Sleep, wake, good, bad, eat, not eat, exercise, rest relax and, 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 until you realize that you are in the realm of duality in order to stop it all every now and then, if you can, if you're fortunate enough, by meditating, by prayers, by pilgrimage, by any other, other means, to touch upon the zone of beyond any space, beyond any time. So do not deny humanity because it is in duality, and that is the womb in which we all live in this world. It's always dual. It's my mother, not my mother. It's a good thing, it's not my Somebody I like because they gave me something. Somebody I don't like because they took away something. On, on, on. Because your obsession is with life itself. And you have identified your obsession of life itself with you. So everything begins and ends with you. So that is why it's quite normal for ch children to be very selfish. But as they realize, no, they can get it all. What are they going to do? How much are you going to hold? How many of this? How many of that? You find cupboards full of everything. The truth of it is that the second birth or second womb, space and time, is such that we all accept it. This is my space. This is my time. But we also want to go beyond it. So you end up having your own room or house filled up with junk because space and truth doesn't exist has no sustainability. It's an illusion that the mind cultivates. So it, it is through the imaginal of the mind that you know the limitation of hard, soft, and so on. It's a fantasy. 
a needed fantasy so that every now and then you stop thinking, you stop everything going to beyond silence and stillness into that quantum field of cosmic perfection. Duality from unity leading to unity in itself, it only exists as a shadow of unity.